Okay, in this video we're going to demonstrate uh, a method for putting valves together efficiently. So when you have to as as assemble the valve springs and keepers, um, it can be really tedious and sometimes it can be frustrating. Um, this is one method. This may not be the only method. There may be better methods or different methods out there, but this is a method that I've found works well. So we've got the, the valve installed. We've already got the, the valve stem seal installed. If you have an aluminum cylinder head, you'll want to make sure that you have the shim or the little spacer that goes below the spring installed because those are all very important. And then I get this trans assembly gel or this trans assembly lube. You can also use like Vaseline or something, but this trans assembly lube is really sticky. And I'll just put a little bit of it on the, uh, on the keeper groove here. So when I get ready, it'll help to hold the keepers in place. And it is messy and sticky. I also like to lay my keepers out. So I'll lay them out like this. So I've got uh, one facing this direction and one facing the other direction. I'll just lay them all out in a row. And I'll put a little bit of this assembly lube or this trans gel on the backs of them as well. And I've got my pocket screwdriver. So we'll go ahead and we'll put the, the valve spring on this. compress the valve spring. If this is an aluminum cylinder head, be very careful here because the tool can scratch the bottom of the, the cylinder head. Think about the ring on the bottom of the combustion chamber the, where the head gasket seals the combustion chamber. You don't want to have any gouges or scratches there and so you've got to be careful. So he's compressing the spring here. I don't know if you can see, see down there we want to tighten it until the until the keeper groove is uh, visible and open. And then I'm going to come over here to my keepers and with that assembly gel on there, I just put my screwdriver on the back of that keeper. I bring it over here and I place it right on the keeper groove. And it should stay in place. And I'll come back over here and pick up the next one, which if I've got them turned the right way, it's already positioned so I can pick this up bring it over here and place it right on this keeper groove and then I release the valve spring tool and it's in. That's how easy it can be. I know that sometimes you drop them and so forth. People use magnets but I found that's the easiest way to assemble them and uh, you can do it in a pretty quick fashion if you do it that way.